How's it going, folks? Jamie here, and we're sitting with Darren Moore, D. Moore guitarist on Instagram.com, and we have his Kramer FR404 Beretta. It's a Musicio era, and it's pretty freaking rad with its reverse headstock. Um, these are great guitars if you can ever find them. We had to do some modifications to your guitar, though, because uh, pickups kind of sucked, man. Yeah, they did. He had some EMGs in there, and uh, we thought it was a good choice at the time because he wanted to try them out, and long story short, they weren't very dynamic for him. Nope. Um, it was okay for a couple months, and then it just faded away, basically. You know, the the charm of them faded away. The dynamics and everything. It's like, uh, I mean, if maybe if you want to be Kirk Hammett, but... Yeah. Uh, anyways, so, had some wearing issues. The pickups we were trying to put in this guitar were passive, and we we're going to replace the switch and all that stuff, convert it back over to a passive guitar from active, because yep. it went from passive to active and then passive again. Right. We used some old components. The installation didn't go as smooth as hoped, but our friends over at Job Tone sent us over a yellow jacket and a hornet for the neck. And the yellow jacket in the bridge position is wound to about 14.3K, and the neck position, hornet, is wound to about 11K, and it's a really nice pair that we call them the Killer B Combo. So, you already had some initial impressions, you played the guitar, but I want you to play the guitar for the guys here on YouTube. Alrighty. And, uh, hopefully they like what they hear. The amplifier that we're using today is a Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200, and it's plugged into a Black Star Series 1 412 cabinet with vintage 30s, and it's mic'd up with a Shure SM57. So, without further ado, take it away, Darren. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, 
we're back. So that's some audio. Tried to do my best on capturing it. Darren, what did you think, man? These are awesome. I know I use them and I love them and I rave about them and stuff, but like seriously, give give us your honest thoughts about the bridge pickup and the neck pickup. So like with the uh, the yellow jacket, which is our bridge pickup, I mean that pick attack is just I've never had something so like responsive to that before. It's actually it's like I said, it made this guitar feel totally new. Like there's like a new life to it because I can. It's just more responsive. Like as we just said earlier in the video. The EMGs I had just kind of weren't doing it after a few months, you know. Like, at first, it's cool, it's great, but the responsiveness just became just the same old, like, artificially sounding thing to me. Where this is, like, natural. It sounds like a natural pick attack, like you hear, like, Eddie Van Halen, George Lynch get when they play. Where you can just feel and through your ears, basically, like, their pick attack. It's just one of those crazy sonic things and that's what i love about it like i've been looking at plenty of pickup options out there to see if i could get that but i feel like i've already hit what i want you know with that and then for the hornet pickup which is our neck pickup um my first impressions are it's just like a happy middle ground between your single coil strap kind of pickup that you have at the neck position and a full-on humbucker like a 59 and Jamie kind of has a better description of it than I do, so it's kind of like a, a natural sounding thing. Yeah, so to me, I use the Hornet because it, it, it is, it's a humbucker. I right. mean, it's a full, nice full sounding humbucker, and it splits really well when you use like a middle position on the, like a three-way switch. It, it almost gives you that Strat quacky attack, which yes. is really cool. It's in phase, it's not out of phase or anything, so right. it still sounds really full, but so those two positions alone but when it's on the neck full up neck position it's shreddy and woody that like i would expect mm -hmm. from like ingve malmsteen's pickup set like right. so it it does the humbucker thing but it has more clarity and string attack exactly so aside from that darren um sounds like you're very happy and pleased with the pickups very happy very pleased my only question for you is would you buy them again and i guess two questions what kind of guitar player would you say these are best suited for Okay, well, to answer your first question, yes, I'm definitely buying these again. You know, I plan on picking up many more guitars in my lifetime, and it sounds like there's going to be a bunch of Job Tones in them from now on, too. So, And then to answer your second question, I think any rock or metal guy could honestly use these in any situation like that. I can't see where it would fail you. Like, I honestly can't see it. If you're in an 80s rock band, it's going to work. If you're... Even if you're playing like a hard rock, maybe 2000s kind of stuff, I don't know, all the bands that fall in that category, works for you. I guarantee it. Sounds good to me, man. And that's kind of what we do here. I mean, we, we play 80s rock and shred guitar. Darren's a huge Eddie Van Halen fan, and mm -hmm. I I mean, we both pretty much love the same stuff, like our Vito Brada from White Lion, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Red Beach, you know, um, I like Ingve. I don't know if you like Ingve. Oh, I do. Yeah, and then Steve Vai and stuff. It really covers all that, like, Guitar God era stuff really well. And then, if you want to play on low gain, like, I'll plug this stuff into a Plexi, and it sounds like, oh, there's that blues stuff there, too. Right. So, it's not just dedicated towards that. I'd say it's great for, like, blues guys and just classic yeah. rock guys, metal guys. Um, I don't play country, so I can't really comment on that. But yeah, I I'd can't say either. that, you know, the, the output, it's not so hot that you can't get away with a lot. It works. These pickups work great in a lot of the different amps, so... Um, with that, um, thanks for coming on out, Darren. Thanks for letting me hold on to your guitar for a few weeks while I got it all sorted out for you. Yep. And big thanks to Byron from Job Tone over in Nevada. You make a killer product, man, and everybody needs to know about these things. Yes, I seriously appreciate what you did here. This is awesome, and that's it. It's just freaking awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, man. All right. Cheers.